Aria. Hey everyone, it's Aria from the Teeny Tinies. I am a mama of two and I love, love, love what I do, which is learning and making music with each and every one of you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so excited. You know I have my good friend, Gratitude here with me. Gratitude, come on over here, don't be shy. You've got to say hello to all the beautiful people who are watching. Come on, say hello. Hey, you want to say hi to my friend Gratitude? Let's see you wait. Yeah. She's really friendly and really soft. Mm, my good friend Gratitude. Gratitude always reminds me to think of at least three things I'm grateful for. Mm -hmm. That's right. Three things I'm grateful for. That means even if I don't have everything that I would love to have or if maybe I'm having a rough day, I can always take time to think of something I'm grateful for. Like, um, like the fact that I woke up this morning and I'm healthy, yeah. Or the fact that I get to sing and learn with each and every one of you. That's something I'm grateful for. Can you think of something you're grateful for? Thank you for sharing, thank you for sharing. Okay, I'd love to get to know you a little bit more, so I'm gonna start off with a beat to do that. I love music. Lap, clap, lap, clap. That's right, keep the beat, come on, keep the beat. Hello, my name is Aria. I like singing with you. Hello, my name is Aria. I hope you like it too. Hello. Okay, what's your name? sharing your name. We're going to have a great time today learning all about drum roll. Go, 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 Okay, you can move. Pollination. We're going to be learning all about pollination. Do you know what pollination is? Mm -mm. That's okay. I didn't always know what pollination is. Pollination is, well, maybe I'll have something Maybe I'll show you something that'll help us learn more about pollination. It'll be a better description than me just blurting it out and telling you. I'm gonna show you. I've got a flower here. Can you see my flower? Yeah? Awesome. Okay, now if you want, you can go ahead and draw a picture of a flower on a piece of paper. And then maybe you can take part in this activity that I'm going to show you right now. Sound good? All right, thumbs up. Yeah! Okay, flower. This flower is going to help us learn what pollination is all about. So first, let's identify the pieces that make up a flower. So we have these beautiful red petals. Yes, this red portion of the flower is called petal. We've got lovely colorful petals. And this portion here, this long green tube looking portion is the stem. The stem's gotta be really strong to support the plant. And here we have, yeah, you know, those are the leaves. And down here we have the roots. The roots go deep into the earth, deep into the soil, and they suck up all the nutrients and the goodness from the earth and spread it throughout the plant so that it stays vibrant and alive. It's really cool. Have you ever taken time to stop and smell a flower? You have. Don't they smell good? They really do. We're not the only ones who think they smell good. And we'll get into some of the other helpers that love the smell of these flowers too. They are called our pollen helpers. But first, back to the point. What is pollination? Okay. I just gotta smell my flower, okay? Go! Achoo! 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 Woo! Ah! Ah! Jeez. Sorry. Excuse me. Huh. So, in the center of my flower is something called, right in here, something in here is called a stamen. Inside of the center of a flower is called a stamen. That's the male part of the flower. And that's where pollen is made. Pollen is why I started sneezing. It's a, it's a, it's a fine powdery substance and it's usually the color yellow, like you see here. And some humans, we're allergic to it, so that's what had me sneezing a little bit. Sometimes it makes your eyes water. Uh, but anyways, pollen, that's why I was sneezing. Pollen is what is made in here by the stamen. The stamen is the male part of the plant, okay? Now, the pollen is made inside of the stamen. We've got that part. 
There's also a portion in the middle of the flower called the pistil. The pistil is the female part of the flower and it looks like a long tube, it looks like a long tube. And what happens is the pollen goes down into the pistil and that's where seeds are made. Yes, pollen helps to create seeds. How wonderful is that? Because with seeds, we get to, we, new flowers and new plants are made. So that's pretty awesome. So now, do you know what pollination is now based off of what I've said? Not yet? Gratitude, what about you? No, gratitude says no. So pollination is when pollen is moved from the stamen to the pistil. So flowers use pollen to make seeds through a process called boom, 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 pollination. Mm -hmm. That's what pollination is. Pollens use, flowers use the pollen that are made by the stamen and it goes into the pistil. And that process is called pollination. Got it? Yeah? Okay, cool, you're still with me. Now, interesting thing about pollination, some of the pollen needs to move from this flower to other flowers in order for that process to continue. Now you may wonder, how can pollen get from one flower to the other? Well, nature is amazing that way. Nature has created pollen helpers. They are called pollinators. Pollinators, yes, they help us. It's almost like, if you needed something from across the room and maybe you were stuck, maybe you're playing a game and you couldn't move and you froze and you were frozen like how we played in the beginning and we froze, but you really needed to get a cup of water and you asked maybe your mom or your papa or your sibling, brother or sister to grab the water for you, they could kind of be like a pollen helper, only they're your water helper. <laughs> Anyways, back on track. Excuse me, gratitude. I'm gonna put you back. On your safety drum, I'm going to show you an example of some of our pollinator helpers. Are you ready or what? You are? If you're ready, I want to hear you say I'm ready. Wait, I didn't hear you that time. Come on, come on. If you're ready to learn about some of our pollen helpers, I want to hear you say I'm ready. That's what I'm talking about. High five. I love learning with you, it's been amazing so far. Okay, now we're going to check out our pollinator friend. Anytime now, pollinator friend, come on. Hey, it's our honeybee friend. What's going on, honeybee? Did you bring any honey for me today? You know I love honey. Do you like honey? So good. We're actually gonna taste some later on today, so stick around. Busy, busy bee. Hi, busy bee. Busy, busy goes the bumblebee. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Our busy honeybee is a pollen helper. That's right. Our pollen helper is attracted to the beautiful color of the flower's petals and the smell. Remember the smell? Oh, chew! Oh, I forgot. <coughs> chew! Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so they're attracted to the smell. And what they do is when they fly on over to the flower, they want to drink the nectar that's inside of the flower. It's a sweet liquid substance and they love it. So what they're going to do is they're going to fly over to our flower. But first, since I want to show you and get a better idea of what pollination is, I'm going to take some chalk here. Mm -hmm. Our chalk is going to represent pollen, that fine powdery substance that is usually the color yellow, like this. Yellow, 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 okay? So I'm gonna take my chalk. If you wanna try this on your flower at home, you go ahead and try it. Take my chalk, we're gonna put it right in the center of our flower, in here. Yep, all over the stamen. Mm -hmm. You get it in there? Got it. That's going to be our pollen, okay? So the pollen is now there. We've got our busy, busy honeybee attracted to the beautiful color and the smell and the nectar. So drink some nectar. <laughs> drinking, drinking, drinking. Yes, drinking, drinking. And guess what happens when busy bee flies away? <laughs> Flying to get to another flower. But check out all this white flap, this powdery substance on its belly. How'd that get there? Well, 
When Busy Bee was drinking the beautiful nectar from the flower, remember the chalk that we used? The chalk that we drew on the in the middle of the stamen that represented the pollen? Guess what? It got all over the belly of our busy honeybee. And that is how the pollen gets from one flower to another because busy bee is going to now fly over to another flower and when it flies to another flower, let's pretend my hand is the other flower. Beautiful flower, oh so beautiful. Flies on over to drink some more nectar. Some of that pollen on its belly gets rubbed off onto the second flower. And so pollen is spread from our pollen helper, the busy honeybee. You're so amazing, thank you, thank you, thank you. Even though you didn't bring me any honey today, I still appreciate you and all you do. Yeah, so we're gonna say bye to our busy, busy honeybee. Thank you for being such an awesome helper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bye, busy bee. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, 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 bye. See you later. So, I just wanna ask you a quick question as a refresher. Do you remember what the process is called when the pollen that's on the stamen goes inside of the pistil and starts to make seeds? What is that process called? too so make sure you're listening okay I know you're smart I know you can handle it okay so we're gonna say goodbye to our flower for now see you later bye see bye. you later flower bye bye so cool now honeybees aren't the only pollen helpers we've got lots and lots of other helpers to help move pollen from one flower to another let's dive into a few more this one is really really beautiful got wings, beautiful, colorful wings that fly through the sky. It's a butterfly! Yes! In the spring, we see lots of butterflies. First, they're a little caterpillar, and then they transform in their cr um, chrysalis, it's like a cocoon, and then they turn out into a big butterfly! So check it out, I drew a picture of a butterfly so you can see. You know, we're all about visuals here. Okay, here's my picture. You like it? Thank you very much. It's not done yet, but we can still learn. So I have two flowers here. I have my beautiful butterfly inside and you can definitely try this craft at home too. And check it out. Our butterfly, much like the bee, is going to land on one flower. Yes, some of the pollen is going to get on the belly of our, or the legs of our butterfly. And then it's going to fly on over to another flower. And some of that pollen that fine, um, that fine powdery substance is going to get onto the second flower just like the bee did. So here's another pollen helper. Now what you can do with this if you like, you can draw lots of beautiful colored flowers, colorful flowers on your page. And what I did was I cut a little hole in the center of the page. And this is just a pencil. Yeah, it's just a pencil. Fly, fly, fly. Okay, bye butterfly, bye, see you later. You can also name your butterfly and make up a cool story about it too. So many things to do to learn. It's amazing. Now, so we have a honeybee that's a helper for spreading pollen. We have a butterfly. There's also hummingbirds. Hummingbirds help to spread pollen too. That's right. Even bats. Yes, who knew? Bats. Not all bats though. There's only one kind of bat. Do you remember? Oh, sorry, Mr. Froggy, did you fall? Get back in place. Oh, okay, we're back, we're back. Yes, there's one more. Who is it? What kind of bat? The fruit bats. Yes, fruit bats also help to spread pollen. We've got so many amazing helpers. Now you wanna know what else is really awesome about springtime and pollination and how it all kind of connects together in the cycle of life and pollination? Well, the bees make Honey, remember the honey honey bee that I showed you earlier? Busy, busy goes the humble bee. They make honey, who likes honey? I've got a jar right here. Have you ever tried honey? Ugh. So sweet, so yummy. Take a look at this. There's the honey inside. Now, some people like to eat honey straight out of the bowl, like this. And some people, like myself, I like to put a little bit in my tea sometimes. I've got some tea here, stir it all around, and you can enjoy mm, your tea that's a little bit sweetened. Thanks to the honeybee. 
getting the nectar from the flowers, taking it back to the colony and the beehive and making honey for us all. Now, it's time to go. Time ran up so fast. Thank you so much. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Time to say goodbye. I hope you love learning about pollination. See ya! Bye -bye.